Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you the basics of reading from an external file in Ruby. Now, one of the useful things we can do with Ruby is we can actually read from external files that are on our computer. So if I had like a file that was on my computer somewhere, I could actually read from that file inside of my Ruby program. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. I actually created a text file over here it's in the same directory as this draft.ruby file. It's called employees.txt. So I'm gonna open that up. And you can see over here, it's just a very simple text file of employees. So these might be like employees at an office or you know whatever. We have you know the name and then we have the position. So Jim is in sales, Andy's in sales, Creed is in quality assurance. Basically it just says their names and then it says what they do, so their jobs. So this is a, a, you know, an example of maybe a text file that you might wanna read from inside of your Ruby files. So I'm gonna show you guys how we can read from this file. Over here in my program, I have to use a special command. So I'm just gonna say file dot open. And now I'm gonna make an open and closed parentheses. And so inside of this open and closed parentheses, I wanna give this a couple different parameters. The first one is gonna be the name of the file. In my case, I have this file stored in the same directory as this Ruby file. So I can actually just put in the name of the file. So I can say employees.txt. But if this isn't in the same directory as the Ruby file, you're gonna have to include either a relative path in here. So for example, if it was in a directory called like files, I could say forward slash files um, or you know files forward slash or you're gonna to have to include an absolute path that starts at your hard drive. So that would be, if you're on Windows, it could be something like C, uh, you know, users, whatever. Um, so basically some sort of path to the file or if it's in the same directory, you can just put the file name. And we also need one more parameter in here, which is gonna be the mode that we want to open the file in. So when you open a file in Ruby, you can actually open it in a couple different modes. And there's maybe like six or seven different modes that you can open files in. Um, the one we're gonna be using is called read. So I'm just gonna type an R in here, and that's gonna tell Ruby that all we wanna do is read the file. So we don't wanna modify it, we don't wanna to write to it, we don't wanna overwrite it, we just wanna read it. And now what I can do is I can say do, and over here I can make two open vertical bars and I'm just gonna say file. And basically what this is doing is it's storing this file that we just opened inside of this file variable. So I now have a variable called file which will represent the file that we just opened. And basically what I wanna do is I wanna come down here and down below here I basically just want to say end. So this is one way that we can open up a file. And I think for a beginner, this is probably the easiest way to do it. So you just say file.open, the name of the file, the mode in our case R, do, and then this is now gonna store this file inside of this variable. So whatever we wanna do with this file, we can do inside of here. And the reason that we need this end block is because this end block is gonna signify when we're done working with the file. And when we're done working with the file, it's just gonna go ahead and close the file. So we're not gonna be using it anymore. We're not gonna have it open anymore. So this is gonna be good just as a beginner, just to kind of you know play around with uh, working with and reading from files. So inside of here, we can use this file variable that we created over here, and we can actually do some stuff. So the first thing I could do would be just to print this out. So I could uh, just say puts file, and now you'll see over here on the screen, it's printing out like all of this information. And this is essentially like some like metadata about our file. Um, it's basically like how it's stored in Ruby. But if we want, we can read the file. So I can say puts file.read. And now we're gonna get all the information in the file. So you see we're printing out all the different names, all the different employees from our file. So read is basically just like you're reading the entire file. And if you want, you could use any sort of, you know, string methods on this. I mean, this is basically just giving us a string. So I could say like read dot includes or include and, you know, we could see if like someone in there is named Jim or whatever and we get true back. So, you know, essentially this is just giving us a string with all the information in the file. There's also another uh, thing which we can do, which is called read line. And read line will basically read a line from the file. So if I print out file.readline, it's gonna read the first line of the file. But what this is actually gonna do is it's gonna read the first line and then it's basically gonna say like, okay, now we're on the second line. So let me show you guys what that means. So if I was to copy this line 
and paste it down here. This is gonna print out the first line of the file and then this one's gonna print out the next line in the file. So you'll see when I run this, it prints out Jim and then Andy. So every time we read the line, we're basically telling the file that we wanna move on to the next line. So this is a good way if you wanna read like each line individually. You can also do the same thing, but with the characters. So I could say read char, and then down here, I could also say read char. And instead of reading the individual lines, this is just gonna read the different characters inside the file one by one. So now we'll be able to print out Jim, yeah. So rechar and readline can both be really useful like as you go through um, a file. And there's one more I wanna show you which will allow us to loop through all of the lines in the file and then for each line in the file we could like do a specific thing. So what I can do is I could actually say for line in file dot read lines. And read lines is a little method which is basically just gonna return an array of all of the lines. So actually, let me show you guys uh, what this is gonna give us. I'm gonna print this out. So I'm gonna print out file.readlines, and you'll see it's just printing out all the lines in the file, but this is actually stored as an array. So I could access, like if I wanted the third line in the file, then I'll be able to access it like that. So we can loop through this array like you would normally loop through an array. So we could say like for the line in file.readlines, and down here, we can just put some code that we wanna do for each line. So, I mean, obviously I could just print them out. So I could say puts line, and this will print out every line. But in here, we could modify the line, we could look through it, we could do anything we wanted to each individual line in the file. And here's the thing, you know, these are just sort of the basics. You know, I mean, this is everything that you need to basically take a file, you know, a text file, loop through every line, and then you're basically just given a string. So this line over here, I mean, these are all just strings in our program. So, you know, you can use all the different string methods to parse through those lines, to figure out what they're saying, get information from them. Um, and, you know, really, it's honestly super easy to actually read from a file. So I would say that's all like the main, you know, those are sort of like the most popular, the most uh, commonly used methods when we're talking about files. I also do wanna show you another way that we can open a file. So you'll see over here we said file.open, the name of the file, and then we did this whole like do file thing. Um, uh, there's another way that we could actually do this. So instead of saying this stuff over here, I could actually just store this in a variable. So I could say like file is equal to all of this, and we can do exactly the same stuff we did before. So I could say like puts file.read, and we'll still be able to print out all the contents of the file. The only thing with this though is whenever you create a file like this, you always wanna make sure that you close the file when you're done with it. And closing the file basically means you're saying that you're done with the file. So you don't wanna leave a bunch of files like open and in memory. So if you, you can just say file.close and this will go ahead and close the file and you won't have to worry about it like taking up any more space in your program. But that's really the basics and you know, you can really just sort of go from here, right? Practice playing around reading different files, practice reading different types of files. These can be, they don't just have to be text files, they can be any type of file. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.